Yo, what's good, YouTube? I've been waiting to make this video for a long time. If you're a returning subscriber, you would know that I had a doormate. Just look at these videos. This was the worst experience I've ever had. It's disgusting. They, do you see? That's disgusting. I don't know how he is that old. Today, we'll be talking about my worst doormate experience I've ever had, or technically my only doormate experience. But you know what I'm trying to say. I had to give it a good title. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let me just start from the beginning. So before I actually went to Heinz, I did go to, that's Heinz Community College. And I really didn't even want to go to that school, to be honest with you. I didn't even really care for college because I just don't feel like it's my passion. And I really don't see what's the point in school, unless I'm trying to be like a doctor or something, which I'm not. I don't want to be a, who wants, I mean, nothing wrong with being a doctor, but to me, that's just way too much stress. Yo, if I go into the surgery room and I see a heart beating out of somebody's chest, no. The only reason I went to college is because my mom wanted me to, and I really didn't have no other choice. I mean, I used to go to college or move out, and I don't have a job. I'm only 18. I don't got a job. I don't got money to move out, and I'm not trying to go get a full-time job at 18. So I was like, no, forget it. I'll go to college. So I applied for community college, mainly because I didn't want to pay too much money. A couple days later, I had to apply for a dorm. At first, I was like, you know what? This is pretty cool. You know, I get to move out on my own, and I had to uh, pick my dorm mate. And it really, it didn't really show a picture of the person. It just showed us like a little, um, a survey, I guess you could say. I don't know. It was like a little, a little paragraph of what the, who they were. First, I wrote my own. I wrote, I like to make videos online. I like to play video games. I, um, I like to be clean, obviously. I mean, look at, everything's very, eh, you know, symmetrical. I like to be clean. So, you know, I went on there and looked for somebody who was kind of like that. And I read one guy's thing. And he was like, I like to be clean. I like, you know, I like to go to bed early, you know, that type of stuff. So, of course, I picked him. So, a couple weeks went by after I picked him. School hasn't, still hasn't opened yet, but we we had to move into our dorm room, you know, get our stuff ready. So, I decided to get a couple friends, and they was going to help me, you know, put my stuff in my dorm. So, we went there. Um, I can't say his name. So, let's call my dorm mate D. I went to my dorm, and he was just sitting there, you know? So, he was of bigger stature, you know, he was a big guy. He seemed like he was real quiet. He was real quiet. Um, but, you know, he, he just seemed like he wasn't a, he wasn't a party guy, so I, I was actually happy about that. And everything was clean on the floor, everything was great, you know? When I first got in there, first impressions were great. If you don't know, first impressions is everything. As you know, things will get worse. The room was pretty small, I'm not gonna lie to you, the room was really small. I don't know if this is for every college. It was like a four by four. At the four by four feet. I don't. I don't know the measurements. It's just really tiny. It's, it's probably about the size of my room. Yeah, to be honest with you, I had my half. He had his, and we really didn't talk much at first. But we got more comfortable with each other, and we started talking more. So I came to find out that he was a virgin, and he really didn't have. You know, he didn't know how to talk to females. So I was trying to help him with that type of stuff. He got real deep. I know a lot of He got real deep, and I've no, I learned a lot of things about him. He learned some things about me that I won't really share with most people. But you know, he was my dorm mate, and we was only like. Two weeks in so this is kind of weird and you know over time you just kept getting more and more comfortable with me and i was cool with it you know be comfortable i'm not trying to be uptight and you know you don't want to really be around me i'm not that type of person i like to be i like to i like people to be calm around me so of course i let him you know get comfortable and all that he just got worse and worse and worse the first red flag i realized is when one day we both woke up we both had a class in the morning right it was like at eight o'clock we both woke up at the same time at like 7 30 something I went into the um, bathroom to brush my teeth, but he didn't. So at first I was like, okay, maybe he's gonna just come back or he forgot this day, you know, or he's running late, something, I don't know. I, I didn't wanna, you know, judge him. So, you know, I brushed my teeth and then the next day came up and the same thing happened. So this time I was like, maybe he just don't have any toothpaste. So, you know, I hinted to him that the next morning, like, yo, hey, I got some toothpaste, you know, I got some toothpaste. I don't know how I said it, but I was, you know, just hitting that, yo, I got toothpaste, whatever you need. And he said, okay. Then he told me, yeah, I got my own though. So I was like, uh, okay. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if he had like a PTSD problem or he he, he slipped in the bathroom. He had traumatic pre I don't know what happened. I didn't want to judge him. For a week straight, I swear you not, he did not brush his teeth one time that whole week. And after he didn't brush his teeth that one time, he didn't brush his teeth probably ever again. Maybe two, three times more. So I kind of started getting concerned and I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to just move out because he recently told me that his last dorm mate moved out because of him, and I didn't want to do that to him. I don't, I don't know, it's just, I'm not that type of guy. I told my friends about it, and like, they were all like, Ty, you need to leave. These are red flags, you gotta go before he just becomes, you know, just a slob. And I was like, no, he's not gonna become a slob. He's not that type of guy. Things like just kept getting worse and worse and worse, and eventually, bro, one day I walked into the room, I was, <laughs> oh my God. 
The room smelled so bad that day. I don't know. At first, I thought it was like an AC problem. So I was like, you know, let me go into somebody else's room. I went to somebody else's room and it smelled normal. It smelled good, didn't smell bad at all. I have a dog. She comes in here every day. Sometimes she smells like wet dog. Her wet dog smell smells better than that day. Than that day it smelled. Did that make sense? That day, it just smelled so bad, I couldn't take it. It was literally my eyes watered. I had to walk out. It was like late at night, too. I was so tired from class and stuff. I walked in. He would just sit on the bed. Just He had no shirt on for some odd reason. I don't know what was going on. He was just sitting there. So I, was, I went in, smelled the smell, said, you know what? This ain't it. I went back outside. Bro, I was always so excited to move out because I was never out on my own. I'm 19. I've always just lived with my parents. and I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, I get to live under a, a roof and stuff, but... I want to have my own stuff. Like that's all. I always wanted to have my own stuff, but he just made the experience just so, hmm, so, hmm. You know what I mean? I went back in the room. I got in the bed, and the way I hit the smell, bro, this sounds bad. But every night I would have to go under my covers and put the covers on my over my head to mask the smell. Mask the smell. It was lit, bro. It was that bad we will both leave in the morning i will come back out of the class but he'll be gone all day i don't know what he does he's i don't know what he did i really don't to this day i still don't know what he was doing and he never took a shower so you got to think he was outside doing some musty some musty stuff no shower for literally months on end it was bro i don't think you guys really understand how stinky that room was he didn't take showers for months the day i met him and then i realized he the day i met him I've never seen him take one shower, and he never went home on the weekend. So he can't, you can't say, oh, he went home on the weekends. He didn't, because every time I came back from the weekend and asked him, what'd you do? He said, I've been here. He had towels, but he never opened them. Look at this, he's never opened these towels. He ain't opened the towels, man. That's what's killing me. He hasn't opened, look, the fiber content. Fiber content, look at that fiber content, 100% God, Bitch ain't opened them. Oh my God, that was worse. These, this is shampoo. Here's shampoo. He ain't open them. I'm done. Oh my gosh. Let's just, let's just put this up. Right. He don't care. He don't give a fuck. 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 Look how nasty. Man, I'm over it. I'm over it. These are his towels. These are his only towels. He never opened them. Has shampoo. He did not open. He had all of these things. He did not use. So do not say, Ty, he might have taken a shower while you were gone. Or no, no he didn't. He just, he had a breaking point. He got so. One day, he bought some food. And like, don't forget, I said he was a bigger guy. So he bought a lot of food. Instead of buying the stuff he really needs, like, you know, like soap and big towels and stuff that, you know, he could use, he bought food. A lots of food. He ate all of my food. I remember one day I bought a bunch of snacks, right? Didn't even open my snacks yet. I came back, they were all gone. And I asked him, yo, what where's my, what happened to my food? His excuse was, I ate some and I gave some to everybody else. Huh? My snacks you gave away and you ate also? That, I, if I wasn't such a good guy, I'm sorry, I had to walk off for a second. That 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 that, that made me mad, bro. I remember that too. That vividly. He gave my snacks away to the other people. What? That's not even. Okay. I remember one night he was just eating his snacks, and he was so loud with it. He had some beef jerky or something, and the way he ate that stuff, bro, that night. I wish I would recorded it. Yo, it sounded like it sounded disgusting. It sounded like. Uh, this is the sound. That's what it sounds like. Now I, don't, I, I do know what that sounds like, but I can't say that on YouTube because I don't want to get demonetized. He did that literally for like three hours that night, and yo, the room just kept getting worse and worse. It's literally were clothes everywhere. Drawers just slang on the bed, shitty stains all over it. This is months of musk building up on each other without no shower and every morning he would just wake up and just put some deodorant on like that's enough no bro you have to put on soap you that's what it's for you have to put on soap this doesn't solve everybody's problems yes this is good yes degree is great but no you you have to put on soap also i got fed up with it that's why i'm online class now because of that that type of stuff that type of activity is not okay yo just these pictures do, do you see these videos 
Oh my God. Oh my gosh. It's not okay. Eventually I got I got you know sick and tired of it. Uh we moved out and now I'm doing online class. He was the worst dormant experience I've ever had. And now I realize that I enjoy having clean people around me. I mean that sounds weird. If you have someone clean around you, don't take it don't take it for granted. Yo, you can have a you can have a D situation. But um that was my little story time about the worst dormant experience ever. There's a lot more stuff going on. Like I said, he was terrible with females. So much stuff. It was so much stuff. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. We're on the road to 500. If you made it this far, you either like what I was saying, the story, or me, or something. I don't know. See you guys Tuesday with a reaction video. Um, I'm actually loving those reactions. Can't wait to do it. Can't wait to go through them all. There's so many videos. I pray for anybody that has a bad doormate. Yo, you will get through it. I got through it. That's my advice. Just leaving a good note. Figure it out. Uh, I guess the same applies for females. I'm out though. Love you guys. Again, peace. I'm out. All right, peace.